Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And this is the third video I'm doing with the Animorph series, so I'm going to be looking at books 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Um, again, um, if you've watched my previous videos, these are very formulaic. Um, I'm going to be skimming over them because, again, there's like 53 in this series, so I'm covering them five at a time. I am going to be kind of skimming through the plot summaries with these, even though I have skimmed through them and actually read the book. I have them in ebook form. One of these. Lots of 90s tech in here. Remember that. And these are written in a very formulaic where you have your main character, introduction, they have a problem that's dealt with Vassar III, who the Yerks are trying to take over, they nearly get themselves killed, the main character has some sort of epiphany, and the book ends. So these are going to be very, very quick. <laughs> We're going to be going through these. Um, that's also because it's late um, and I'm trying to get these done because again there's a lot of videos to go through because 53. So let's move on. So this is book nine. This is the secret. The main character here is Cassie um, and so the major plot series what's going on. Um, they figure out that the Yorks are trying to find um, Axe, who's the Andrelite that they're mixed with. So they're trying to cut down the forest around Cassie's house. So they're created a locking company. Meantime, Cassie's trying to save animals because her parents are both vets. Um, that's what they do. They're wild animal vets, essentially. I believe her mother works at the zoo. <laughs> her mother works at the zoo. Her father does something else. Um, but they're both vets and they have a bunch of, they constantly meet in Cassie's family barn because they're constantly rehabilitating animals. Um, and it kind of starts off with, this is kind of the funny thing. Um, Cassie's vet parents are afraid of skunks because her father apparently got sprayed like six times. And Cassie's really good with skunks. This is important. <laughs> this is important because she does transfer into a skunk at one point. But they find out there's a logging thing, so they need to put a stop with this. And they find, they this is where I think they tried termites, again, with the bugs. They're transforming into a lot of bugs in there, in these ones. They've gone from flies and I think eventually they do more spiders. Um, but this one is termites, because this is how they get into this logging camp that's covered by a force field. And in doing this, I think at one point in time, Cassie freaks out um, and transforms into human form in wood. Um, they find out kind of what's going on that they're um, act they uh, that they need to in order to get approval to continue this logging. They have this one other um, person that they need to basically put a rubber stamp on and they plan, They I think everybody else is controller, so they're going to make this guy a controller. So they have to stop this. Um, in the meantime, they're trying, these guys are starting to log the forest and control things and they're putting this um, pair of group of skunk kits or baby skunks at, um, at risk because, and then of course Cassie and her friends have to look after them because the mother's been injured and she's with Cassie's father. It's like she'll be okay in a couple of days, but um, right now Cassie's spending quite a bit of time as a mama skunk <laughs> taking care of baby skunks. And Tobas is trying to help her by keeping control of these baby skunks, which she obviously has that two hour limit. So they eventually help, um, basically help this guy. Um, he gets, they, he gets unconscious. I think Cassie gets trapped and, um, transforms into a skunk and sprays Vassar three and a bunch of others um, of his soldiers, the humans and the other things that I cannot pronounce, um, the other aliens. Uh, yeah, and then they lie to him. They, you find this out, they, they tell him that in order to get rid of the smell, he has to be covered in a specific type of juice. They tell him it's grape juice. Now, if you are unaware of what actually takes rid of skunk smell, it's the acid and tomato juice. Um, that's, so they lie to him. So he just, he stinks like to high heaven because he's now transformed into a human. He's not an androlite anymore. Um, they've gotten rid of that. So that's kind of funny. But in this, Cassie realizes that, yeah, she, she, she's obsessed with saving animals. Um, so 
And the other thing is the reason she freaks out is because she kills the queen um, in order to prevent them from getting attacked and being controlled by this termite queen. Cassie kills the termite queen and freaks out um, for some reason. So, though she's also transforming into a wolf in this, um, which is interesting because, again, they're scenting things out. Um, so, and she kind of has to come to terms with the fact that sometimes she's going to have to kill kind of thing in this fight. So that's kind of the gist of this one. Yeah, they reach that standoff and they tell him it's, gra yeah, grape juice. And basically he smells for a while, which is kind of funny. Okay, moving on. So more bugs. Back to Marco. This is, this is the android. Um, this is actually kind of an interesting thing. So this is Marcos. Um, he runs into an old friend that, by the name of Eric, until he finds out at a concert that Eric's handing out these pamphlets. Um, come to find out, kind of the basics is they see, try to see if um, Eric is a Eric King is a um, controlled by the Yerks, and he eventually gets information to Marcos like, "Come to my house." And so they show up, and it turns out he's an android. And he was created by this race of people, of creatures that are very similar to dogs. And they, they advanced very quickly. And they, had, they were a very old civilization. And by the time, say, the androlites existed, they were all in fun. They were, imagine a puppy, and that's kind of how they describe them. They created these, andro these androids to be their friends and their companions. And then they were destroyed by these, by this, not the Yurks. Um, the, the, the creatures were called Paramelites myths. And the, the androids, are, they called them the Chi, which is friend. And they were destroyed by this other race thinking um it does not tell me what it is um but and they were able to get to earth with some of the remaining of their people so they basically every everyone except her group were able to escape with these some of the androids but they um this other race had infected them with biological war germ warfare so the um the chi were able to use some of their dna and they went back to earth and put them in wolves and eventually dogs so they're very connected to dogs in the fact that this is this is their people who always want to play and that's all these people were very very peaceful they weren't interested in hurting anyone they just wanted to play. And this Eric wants to help fight the Yerks and some of the other androids do not. And they want to get a hold of this crystal that had belonged to the, their people that had been stolen by the Yerks. Well, they actually bought it off a traitor and it would help deprogram them so they could fight. But he goes against his programming and um, is able to, um, he feels pain and he is killed and he's like, I can't do this. I've changed my programming back so I can't be violent again. Um, we will help in our own way. We'll give you information. Um, if we can, from what we get it, we will kind of, and they realize it's like, he, he just can't. There's too much pain. There's too much destruction in fighting wars. Cause that's what he originally wanted to do. And it's just, he's a mess. And so, um, I think they destroyed this crystal. And so, that's kind of the end of this specific story. This creature is going to kind of help them out periodically. And so, that is book ugh, 10. Moving on to 11. All right. 11, we have, this is weird. This is Jake. This is the, I'm not even sure I fully understand this one, 
the controllers have have put a ship um, inside a Safeway, which is this bird of prey that morphs, and they get into it, and they ends up in a, crashing into the Amazon rainforest, going and it goes through some sort of rip in space and time, and they end up in the Amazon rainforest and. They're fighting off Vassar 3. And this one's really, really confusing because at some point they're attacked by these plants from the hork which is one of the aliens the humans beat, um, the Yarks have brought in. And basically they're all being killed at one point in time. Axe thinks they're everybody's a figment of Jake's imagination. And Jake suddenly wakes up and he's behind the after being basically nearly, supposedly, actually, possibly his self killed um, by these plants in this Amazon rainforest in this different time, time period. And he wakes up back behind the Safeway and he's able to stop his friends from doing whatever they were going to do that was going to get them all killed. So, um, Axe explains what, what is going to be going on here. So, this it's a Soros rip. So, it's a very strange... It's a very, this is a very strange one, and I'm not sure the entire point of it. Um, and it's just the idea that it's Jake's do job to be lucky, and that, um, this is kind of the last line, it's like Elkor told him that it's a leader's job to be lucky. Success is just luck. And he doesn't, he hopes Jake doesn't run out of luck again. Um, so that's kind of the gist of this one. Again, this one's really weird. Um, let's move on to the next one. This is Reaction. Um, this is book 12. This is Rachel. So Rachel and Cassie go on a school trip and Rachel falls into the alligator pit. Turns out she's allergic. <laughs> and so she starts massively morphing um, and she can't control it. And eventually Axe tells them, it's like, yeah, you're, you're allergic to alligators. <laughs> eventually you have to figure out how to get to the stop. Um, and they're dealing with a movie star by the name of Jeremy Johnson, Jason McCool, which I'm boy toy. Um, again, this is the '90s, um, and he's on a he, he's he's an it boy, and but Cassie's ha Rachel's having issues because it not only does she rescue a kid and then get uh, transformed, uh, realize she's allergic to alligators because she gets she transforms into one, um, and now she's like. She can't control her morphs. She morphs into an elephant in her parents' house and <laughs> destroys. She ends up on the news. Um, Chapman, who's the vice principal, who's a major controller here, um, is trying to figure out what the heck is going on. And he thinks Rachel is trouble and is trying to get her to become a controller because um, he does obviously doesn't realize who she is, otherwise he'd get rid of her. Um, so they she gets into trouble they find out that this actor is on this boat and um it's her and Ka rachel and cassie and he's basically being pushed by vassar three who's now dressed up at, in the human form of a producer and he turns out how he's dead he's a really nasty guy not the controller the little boy toy um and he's just for money and power he'll agree to anything um so he gets transformed into a controller but then in a fight um well actually it's on a news program where again rachel's having issues <laughs> so i can't remember which issue. a bunch of animals come on board because they transform because rachel's having issues um and the slug and rachel transforms into a alligator again um she eats a she eats the yerk that was inside this kid's head. Um, <laughs> he gets escaped and the lights go out and they are freed. Uh, but it, it, it's kind of, and he runs off to Uzbekistan because he doesn't want to be involved with the yerks anymore. Um, but it, it's kind of an interesting kind of fun one. There's not really that much of a point um, to this. And besides the fact that Cassie transfers into Rachel at one time, point in time to get them out of trouble. So that's really the basis of this one. Um, I know I was told that some of these is fur further in they uh, go, they, they aren't great. Okay, moving on to 
another strange one. This is the change. So this is Tobis. And in, again, Tobis is a hawk. Um, he, he shows her another entrance to the Yerk pool, but he also starts, is this where, yes. Um, they transform into, I'm reading so many of these, yeah. Um, they interact with a hork berkshire. I can't pronounce these. It's another alien race that's basically used as heavies or big bullies for the Yerks. Um, even though, of course, they control them. They're, they have their controllers controlled as well. The hork berkshire's planet has been destroyed. The um, Andrelites hadn't been able to save them. So, oh, it's almost 9 o'clock here. Normally, I don't film this late, but I want to get these done. Okay, so moving on. Um, and they have to help rescue these, basically this guy gets, this creature gets free of his yurt control and they have to rescue his mate. And then they're being chased by these other creatures that are taxons, um, very science fiction, obviously that's, and then Tobis encounters the Elemist again. And essentially what the Elemist does is he gives him a chance to go back in time. Um, and basically see his old self the day before he's, he, um, interacts with, um, turning into an androlite <laughs> or turning into an anamorph. And he, he knows he has the chance to tell his old self not to go with Jake. Don't go through the construction site, but he does, but he now has acquired the, um, the DNA, his human DNA. So he can now morph into his human self for about two hours. So he has that, he has that ability, but he can only be his human self for about two hours. Um, so that's kind of what happens majorly. They are able to rescue these two creatures and they're off in a valley in the middle of nowhere. So, and they are able to rescue them. And of course, again, um, brain, brain, main character here, <laughs> pull this, Tobis is again reaffirmed into what they're doing, but he's able to kind of show up at Rachel's, a outstanding student, student award ceremony. I think he likes Rachel. Um, Rachel is, is all, of all the groups, he's, he has a crush on Rachel. So, and so he's able to morph into his human form to see her. So that is the end of these. I know these are really, really quick um, and I'm skimming through them. I'm even like, some of this I just noticed that even though I'm kind of looking at the page of the summary, a lot of this is coming from my memory. I just need to reawaken it. Otherwise I'd be giving you the straight, <laughs> the straight summary. But these are again interesting and they're very, very formulated. Some of these are a little weird. The, the things are starting to get very strange with this um, the one with Jake, this weird one with, um, Tobis, it, it, it's, it, it's, and a weird love story between aliens. It's getting interesting. Um, it, it, it's weird. It's almost nine o'clock. So, and I am very tired because my child does not let me sleep. Uh, so, um, that is it for this one. I will be covering the next five books in the next video and I'm covering these in groups of five until we get done. Um, I will be covering Anne of Green Gables at the same time. Um, I'm also being, once all that is done, I'm covering Boxcar Children and Wings of Fire. So that's what's coming um, that way. Then regular theme wise, if you are looking for what I'm doing this year, this is being shot in. Um, all the Animorphs stuff is pretty much being shot, at least right now, the first ones are being shot in June. Of 2023 so some interesting craft stuff black history month women's history month in march that's what black history month is february covering the titanic that's what's coming up there um i'm covering angel island which is um asian immigrant immigration in the coming through the west i'm covering european immigration to ellis island coming through the east that's in july I'm covering uh, Women Inventors in August. I'm looking, doing a deep dive into Beauty and the Beast in September. I'm covering Space in November. I'm covering the Hindu Festival of Diwali in November. Sorry, the um, Space is October. 
and then uh, mysteries in December. So that's what's incoming. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe, leave a positive comment if you have one. Thank you.